picked up some roadkill there today and uh, going in to check the bait here the moose is all gone had this snow fence up and the darn little coyotes are going right around it so we'll have to put a surprise for them probably won't start till next week it's warm right now it's plus two um, market suppressed so I don't want to put any early coyotes on and uh, yeah I'm gonna take Blake's deer guts here dump them in there as well uh, stupid tailgate anyways need two hands for it all right uh, catch you in a sec here just perfect see all this spray here is I took it out of the back of the truck and it dumped and then I got a shower I got some blood in my mustache there nasty Ugh. got it all over my hat which I'm going to order some more here try and sell some there and some hoodies but yeah disgusting I gotta wash my coat my hat my clothes I wasn't planning to come out here and get dirty anyways enough complaining let's get back to work here well this is what it looks like Birds and dogs trample everything here. Hyde's gone to think it's over there somewhere. I'll walk around in here just to see if I can see any uh, wolf tracks or anything like that. And uh, yeah, dump this carcass off and blood gut pail was left of it. Some old moose carcasses, skulls. Well, really heavy trails out here. Anyways, I'll dump this and we'll go for a quick walk. I'll show you what I'm looking for. Okay. Just a couple steps in the bush here, but you can see a heavy trail here. Then it forks off that way and that way. Coyote bed over here. Right, a chunk of hide in over here. And it's just a maze. So I don't snare here close to the bait. The bait's like 10, 15 yards that way. I go further back. And actually this clump of bush, I have a, a road around. I can go around it. You guys see me do it lots here. Through the years. And I pick up their main trails when they come in. Because when they come in here, they're skittish. They're not sure who's in here and what's going on. Here's another... Good trail there. And another one straight ahead. Anywhere there's an opening, they have a trail. I could come in here and put a whole bunch of snares and have a whole bunch of misses or a whole bunch of coyotes on one trail. But I'd rather pick them off on the outskirts and that way they don't get scared to use the same trail. One or two disappearing at a time versus a whole bunch. Seeing them getting caught on the trails. Lots of old skulls in here. This is what I kind of like to snare in for my coyotes and wolves. Nice and tight and then I can find natural pinch points like that. All right, I better get going here. Well, today, let me see what we're up to today. I uh, came out for an elk hunt this morning and uh, came out about 45 minutes before legal light get into a good spot and the elk already in the field chase them off so then I realized I forgot my binoculars and my tags so I just ended up sitting there for just a legal light and then I thought I'd go for a drive around the community there and see what's going on and uh yeah so I did some touring and found a spot for some elk for tonight there I think we'll go check it out but just got got a few spots I went checked out there the strip chased a bunch of coyotes off of there and then over here at this spot uh throwing a few carcasses here or there some road kills and whatnot so got that going and uh i'm gonna maybe hang a couple of snares test them out today it's the 19th i believe so we will hang a couple of snares see what they look like and then go from there i was hoping to wait till december 1st but and just uh, getting too itchy. 
But I'm going to go around here and clean up some trails. Lots of uh, windblown trees. A couple scrapes here. And then got to clean these leaners down so we can drive around and whatnot. All the cut lines have a few here or there. So I'll also do that midday. And I'll look for tracks. See what's going on. We got coyote tracks, deer tracks. We'll carry on. Well, you can see some snaggles here. Got to cut through those. Probably the fourth or fifth one that I had to do. But uh, that's okay. But if you look on top here, we got some fisher tracks or martin tracks. I'd say fisher. Quite the, quite the spread there good to see they're around a little reds just bumping along and then uh chainsaw electric chainsaw is doing pretty good Let's see what else we got for tracks here looks like a deer track there hmm. the birds are screaming and i got things uh cleaned up here trails are all good now and we got a Cayute Highway here. Been looking for wolf tracks, can't find any, but what I'm gonna do is hang the first snare of the year right here. We've picked up wolves on this trail before, we picked up coyotes and whatnot, but right now the coyotes are hitting it pretty hard. They're coming down the trail over here and then uh, cutting in. So I'm just gonna step off to the side here. Shaky up a little bit. And I had two different wires hanging here. I put them out in the middle of the trail so they get used to them. And then I'd see if the deer are going through or bumping them or whatever. But uh, I'm gonna hang this one here on a lights out snare. And you can see their trails nice and tight so I don't have to fence in. And I got a couple leaves or little sticks there on either side that uh, funnel them in. I'm gonna hang that snare right there and I'll show you in a second. So I got it in there now. I'm using this uh, stick here to kind of hide that. And it's kind of out in the middle. The right height, right diameter. And uh, take a look at it from here back a little bit. Just a bad angle right now. Can't see, but it's a nice heavy Cayuse trail. Okay, it blends right in. Can see it actually from this distance I can pull the snare off to the right a little bit or sorry the left because it's sticking too far to the right my bad looks good from that angle it's always good to double check Right there should be perfect. Okay, right there should be perfect. Okay, we'll come back probably tomorrow, check it out and see if anything's happened. Get you the next set. There we go. Snare number two, it's not a heavy, heavy trail, but just wanna try this out here. Got a lights out snare attached to a little something I'm trying out here. See how it works this year. All right, catch you the next set. Just coming along here, one of my old snare sites there I've been using forever. Uh, coyotes, heavy, heavy trail going in there. I used to always put it on this tree here. I'm gonna go further in a little bit. I started to get some refusals because it's getting a little wider there. But uh, just further in, we'll take a look here. It's a better pinch spot. So I'll go put another snare in there and we'll show you the setup. You got another uh, snare there. This is over where that bait is. 
there sneaking around by the gate and uh, they had a decent little trail there so I thought I'd stick another snare in there and try this post out there as well all right back to the truck all right we're just loading up the truck here getting ready to head out got about an hour and uh 10 15 minutes before legal light there gonna go out and see what we got to do so we're part ways there and i'm gonna walk in the last uh half mile in just uh see so i'm gonna try and time it so it's right at legal light maybe a couple minutes before i'm bringing my cow calls so i can mew there a little bit uh buck grunt just in case i see a buck and i want to see if i can get him a little bit closer but uh looking at the fuel on the truck there forgot to fuel it up yesterday or thought i had more and so i don't know how much uh traveling i'll be doing after the morning hunt here if i'm not successful but we will see all right i got this little hat here it's got some lights on it just uh, to walk a little bit because it is dark but uh we will see yeah Turn the truck off here, kind of load my stuff up, get uh, things ready and head down the trail. See you guys in a bit here. Does he like my smell? Bleh. Bleh. checking out the wind but the wind you won't smell this and might smell my foot tracks there but it's got him on edge a little bit well put in uh an hour and a bit there just kind of walking around checking things out and stuff like that uh no elk sign Use my hat's crooked there. I'm gonna blame that on my mom not turning me enough when I was a kid. Hats always kind of go crooked. Must be my head's misshapen. Anyways, uh, yeah, not uh, not much going on. We had that little buck cruise through, and uh, there you go. And then we're gonna go check a couple snares, and I might uh, wander out and check out that a couple spots on the way home there just to see if there's anything moving there. Plus, check them out for hunting and or and trapping. Uh, might be some deer moving through there, midday kind of stuff. It's the rut, and they're always on the move there, midday. I find they're out cruising, looking for the girls. I think I see something ahead of me here. It could be a coyote or something. But let you go, and uh, we'll see you in a bit here. What a disaster. So just working on the tester here. One thing I noticed too, when they're early, they'll pull some fur out from the leather side. You can see that. Comes off their elbows. This guy's same thing. You can see how it's dark there. It means the Leather's thin, you can feel how thin it is compared to other times. And you can kind of look underneath that it's kind of darker. It means it's not quite prime. And you can see along the back end here as well. The legs are looking not too bad, so it's getting close. 
Normally the legs will be dark, but along the rump here, a little early for this one here. You can see the leather, it's a little bit darker through it. Not sure how that's showing up, but we'll flesh it and check her out. So just starting on the back of the head here, you can see it's dark. The leather's not quite there. Another couple weeks will be good. So it's a semi heavy. And once I get to the shoulders, we'll see if there's hair pulling out. And then if there is, then we know it's pretty early there, but there's no roots showing here. Just, uh, just the leather is dark. And then once we start fleshing, it'll take some of that follicle off and get a little bit better. But once it dries, you'll see it again. So you can see it underneath the, the fat here. Okay, I just worked it a little bit more. So you can see right here, there's hairs coming through. Pulled these ones out with the knife. So it's getting close. Like the leather is not too, too bad once you take that dark hair root stuff there. Another week, they'll be perfect. November 20th, like I said, another week and they'll be perfect. And I'll finish this guy, this girl off, I guess, and then see how she looks. Okay, so I'm getting down towards the back end here, and you can see more guard hairs are starting to come out. Right here, and right there. And the belly's leather's whiter. You can see the hair follicles, not really showing up in the camera, but you can see they're just starting to come through there. And this uh, this dark stuff here, that's the hair root, the, the follicles, not 100%. When I get on the board there on the back, you can see more hairs like this one here sticking out. See these little white ones? And these longer guard hairs along the back. So, like I said, another week. This will clear this all up. This is a pup coyote. I know it's a pup because it's a female and she hasn't had a litter yet because her nipples aren't a little bit bigger and it's her teeth were nice and perfect there. So just uh, born in the spring, not a huge coyote, but just want to show you what we watch out for. A bit closer look so you can see the hairs coming through. These are hairs that are coming through the, the leather. So that's when they're early. They don't like that because all these hairs are always going to follow because they're not set into leather. You can feel it. Once it dries, it'll make some noise too. But so you can just grab a root and pull it right out. So that's why they don't like early coyotes. And it's got decent fur, but it'd be a semi. It's just getting there. So here we have the coyote is all done drying. But you can hear how coarse that is with all the little hairs sticking out. Tweezers there, I can pull it out. Trying to do it through the camera here is not working out the best, but you get the, the gist of it. Another week or so, that should help out a lot. And see how dark it is. Belly's a little bit better. Our bits are good. Around the neck is good. There you go. Okay, so we got this uh, coyote all turned there. So it doesn't look too, too bad. Just brushing it out a little bit. But uh, you can tell the under fur is not super thick. So it's a, a semi there. It's 
it's coming, but not quite there. And then the guard hairs, you can see you can pull some of them out here because it wasn't set up in the fur. So when they go to tan that, that's just going to keep falling out. Not all of them will fall out, of course, but there was a few that weren't quite there yet and uh, pulled through some on the other side, but here's the belly side. There you go. Pretty close to being prime. It's gonna get a bit more thicker under here, but he's semi.